It's true. You go to a Hispanic neighborhood, they're angry at white people. You mm. go to a black neighborhood, they're angry at white people. So if you're a white kid, bro, you, you feel the brunt of that. People are going to try to jump you because you're white. So you almost have to join and be crazier in order to survive. So uh, a, a side tangent before we get to number three. Number three. So we had first operations, two shootout communication, so, complete side tangent. Mm -hmm. Is the rogue crazy white guy in every black gang is that just a hollywood stereotype, a hollywood or, stereotype. or is there like it exists a white like a crazy white dude in every gang and is it is it useful like it would you would you want that in your gang <laughs> my gang uh, i mean i don't want to be in a gang period but um i think I think it's a bit more of a stereotype, but it does exist. Like, it, it's true. It, it, it's out there. Like, there's always, like, one or two white people in the hood who, like, in order to survive, they have to kind of, like, you know? Because you're the... It, it's tough being a different race in an all-minority na neighborhood, because especially because everyone hates that race a little bit. Um, it's true. Like, you go to a Hispanic neighborhood, they're angry at white people. You go mm. to a black neighborhood, they're angry at white people. So if you're a white kid, bro... You, you feel the brunt of that. Like, the, people are going to try to jump you because you're white. So you almost have to join and be crazier in order to survive. But yeah. it's not as common as you think. A lot of times, especially because prison is so, like, and prison culture kind of emulates itself mm -hmm. in the street. You got to remember that in prison, it doesn't matter how progressive we think we are as a society. Black people go with black people. Hispanic people go with Hispanic people. And then white people, regardless of whether or not you're racist, go to that fucking KKK clan. They mm -hmm. have no they have no choice. So even if I wasn't racist, I would have to go with them to survive. In and if prison? I went to prison? Yeah. Yeah. You stay with your race in prison. I mean, that's what happens. Bro. Mm. That's just how it is. And it sometimes it emulates itself here. But that's not always the case outside in the civilian world because it's just different, you know? You can be in a gang if you're yeah. a white guy, but it's it's just different in prison. So if I, like, hypothetically, mm -hmm. if there was a group of guys approaching you, you knew they were in the gang, and it was mm -hmm. five black dudes, a couple of Hispanic dudes, and one white guy, and I'm that yeah. white guy, I'm dressed a little bit differently, like, you could tell I grew up in the hood. Yeah. Would you be more scared of me because, in your mind, you're thinking, like, what the hell did that white dude do to gain the respect to nah, be in I the gang? Be, I wouldn't be scared of you, no. I would, I mean, because I'm me, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I'm not but would nobody. You, would you, would yeah. you, like, what about crazier? Would you be like, that dude is crazier than the others because he had to go beyond nah, to earn the respect to be in that gang because he's think white? That, I would think that you're more willing to do more because you've had to prove yourself in order to survive in that operational environment. Mm. So I would respect you because of that. And then I would also look at your counterparts, like your buddies, right? Like, like, I know in the hood, like, I don't care about what you... I had friends who were gay in the hood. You know what I mean? I don't care that they're gay, you know? I don't give, give a fuck, you know? But I would look at your friends and, and think that whatever you're doing, they respect you enough that they include you in their activities mm -hmm. so that you've earned that respect, not only from being, like, a bad motherfucker, but also from, like, you've proven yourself as a human being that you belong with them and that they respect you and they trust you. So I would also also kind of think highly of your character too. It also mean probably to me it's not only like you're you're probably a badass but that you probably are a respectful mm. person who under who can understand their struggles as people and and you're probably a good friend also. Mm. That that's another thing. It's it's not just like I think you're crazy or some shit. It's that you're a badass, yeah, but you're also probably a high value person. You're worthy of respect and and loyalty, you know? Yeah. I think that's also what it is too.